Quick video research topic of discussion on evidence provided by the temple or lack thereof a temple at all. Start with the chronological order of the known temple history according to different references. Of course, the Tanakh or what people call the Old Testament and the Bessarah, which people call the Gospels or Berith Hadashah. Writings of Josephus, a historian that witnessed and made accounts of what occurred at the destruction of the second temple. So we'll start with Solomon. Solomon builds the first temple in Jerusalem. We know that we sinned against the Most High. We didn't listen to the prophet, specifically Jeremiah, and the Most High used Babylon 586 before Messiah and destroyed the first temple which Solomon had built. This is what Daniel calls to finish the transgression. 530 before Messiah, Persia, Cyrus the Great sends a commandment to restore the temple. 168 before Messiah, the Greek wars, which is called the Troublous Times, Antiochus Epiphanes desecrates the second temple. 165 BC or before Messiah era, Judah Maccabees rededicates the second temple. 33 AD or after Messiah of Judah, Yahshua Hamashiach, arrival of Messiah, is cut off while the temple stood. This is where a lot of non-Messianics look to turn away because Messiah has to come while the temple stood. 70 AD, according to Daniel, after Messiah is cut off, a people of a prince will come and destroy Jerusalem and the temple. This happened in 70 AD under Titus Flavius Caesar. 325 AD or after Messiah's arrival. Again, in the book of Daniel, Chapter 7, the Council of Nicaea, Rome attempts to change the set times and laws of the Most High. This is where Sunday observance is created and mainstream Christianity is also created.